So here's the latest on Tropical Depression 14 and also Tropical Storm Laura. Uh, what's changed? The forecast track uncertainty remains very high. In fact, it may be higher now uh, than it was earlier for both storms. The models are not handling uh, the track of these storms very well. And we've got uh, multiple systems we're dealing with. So the, the steering flow is very complicated and we'll need to monitor both TD14 and Tropical Storm Laura. Here's a look at those two systems now out over the Atlantic. Uh, TD14 has really been slow to organize, still a pretty disorganized system, still a tropical depression, uh, has not become a tropical storm yet. And you see Laura uh, further out uh, near the Windward Islands uh, now has become a tropical storm that was earlier today. And we're going to have to watch both of these storms over the next week or so. Uh, TD-14 is still expected to become a, a tropical storm and then a hurricane, uh, becoming a hurricane after it crosses the Yucatan uh, on about Sunday. And then TD-14, uh, at that point, will be named Marco. Uh, hurricane Marco, presumably over the Gulf, will probably weaken back to tropical storm status before making landfall somewhere along the Texas or Louisiana coast. Uh, the system is going to encounter a lot of wind shear as it gets closer to land. So Hurricane Center's thinking right now is for a weakening system as it's making landfall. As I mentioned, the track uncertainty is actually higher now. The spread in the track models has increased as the day has uh, gone on today. Uh, we have some models tracking it uh, into Mexico or South Texas and others over to Louisiana. So it's it's kind of an unusual to see the uncertainty maybe even increase a little bit uh, with the pattern that we're in. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Laura uh, is, a, of course, a tropical storm forecast to become a hurricane as well, and we'll look at her track in a moment. Uh, but the Laura track has shifted a little bit uh, further south and west today, so it, that's why I'm saying we, we may need to keep an eye on that as well. Here's a look at TD14 and the updated track. You see this is a little bit of a shift toward the west. Um, there's a big spread in the models. Uh, Hurricane Center uh, leaned more toward the, the weaker solutions, uh, toward the GFS and the European and some others, uh, which take it uh, down the coast uh, a bit more than earlier forecast, uh, but do bring it in as a weakening storm. Uh, Reaching hurricane status, you can see there uh, by the time we get to Monday afternoon, uh, and then making landfall Tuesday afternoon or evening uh, as a tropical storm. Tropical storm Laura, uh, this is the first time we've really shown her track, and you can see uh, it's forecast across the Caribbean islands there, and, and then emerge out over the Gulf and intensify to a hurricane. Uh, right now, the cone has it directed uh, into the uh, Louisiana and Mississippi, Alabama area, but some of the models actually keep it on more of a westerly track, and uh, that's why, uh, if that were to occur, it could actually approach our area uh, late next week. So uh, earlier we were thinking TD14 was going to be the main storm for us, and that still may be the case, uh, but Tropical Storm Laura... Uh, is something we will have to keep an eye on. Here's a look at the wind probabilities for Tropical Depression 14. Uh, they've actually shaded down slightly, but you can see the maximum values still coming right into our area uh, here along the southeast Texas coast uh, on the order of 20 to 30 uh, percent and also over to Louisiana. So uh, that those Tropical Storm Force winds, it's it, could be felt over a fairly wide area. It's, it's hard to narrow down exactly where this thing is going. And then the 58 mile per hour sustained winds, once again, uh, much of the Louisiana and mid to upper Texas coast uh, has that uh, sort of five to 10% chance of seeing those winds. As far as timing, uh, the timing has shifted back and forth a little bit. Uh, right now, the best thinking from the Hurricane Center is the arrival of tropical storm force winds Monday night or Tuesday morning. 
and you can see the time arcs there. As far as storm surge, uh, I showed this earlier today, but honestly, this is so dependent on where that landfall occurs. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard to pin that down right now. Uh, as I said, it could be really anywhere along the Texas or Louisiana coast. So uh, it still is useful to look at those uh, sl that slosh model guidance, uh, perhaps um, as a tropical storm. Um, and, and so um, it, for those of y'all that have checked out Hervac, uh, you know, go ahead and pick that category zero meow um, and, and kind of investigate the surge impacts in your area. But uh, that's going to depend, of course, a lot on the intensity and the track, uh, which unfortunately right now are, are still fairly uncertain. Rainfall, uh, this is the latest forecast from the Weather Prediction Center, uh, really accounting for both storms uh, from now until next Friday. So we're looking at a week's uh, worth of rainfall here. And you can see a really, you know, tremendous amount of rain along the Gulf Coast, all the way from, uh, from Freeport, all the way over across to Florida. And this, this, these amounts are intended to be sort of mean rainfall amounts. Uh, but as we know, with tropical systems and the banding that we can get with them, uh, don't be surprised near the track um, and to the right of the track if we get some some much higher amounts. And so uh, we're still days away, and uh, we'll have a better handle on that as those storms get closer to us. And then I briefed this earlier. This is a depiction of the seas um, that uh, kind of move with the storms. Uh, like every other impact, you know, this will depend on the track, uh, but this is based on the uh, the, the best thinking uh, now with the, the, the seas up to 10 to 15 feet, even a bit higher uh, near the center track of these two systems. So just to sum up, uh, Tropical Depression 14 still forecast to strengthen, hasn't yet, uh, to Tropical Storm Marco and then perhaps to a hurricane as it tracks northwest over the warm Gulf waters uh, later this weekend. The storm will make landfall most likely as a tropical storm along the Texas or Louisiana coast around Tuesday, but exactly where that occurs is actually a bit more uncertain now uh, than it was uh, than we were thinking even earlier today. Uh, this system would be named Marco. Impacts again highly dependent on the track and intensity. Uh, Hurricane Center is thinking of a uh, weakening system as it's making landfall, given the increased wind shear uh, that the storm will encounter. Uh, but all the all the uh, hazards are in play, uh, most likely uh, from a, a tropical storm type uh, system. Uh, and then the other thing that's new is we will need to keep a, a, an eye on Laura as well. We'll need to monitor the track. Uh, if that were to continue on a more westerly track rather than turning into the northern Gulf states, uh, that could come into our area later, late next week. Uh, so forecast confidence is pretty low. Uh, you know, this is kind of amazing to see how, how, how much things are changing and how difficult the models are, are uh, it is for the models to handle these kind of weak systems with complicated flow and perhaps interaction between the two systems. So um, hopefully as we get closer and perhaps we get uh, stronger storms, um, we'll have a better handle on the track. Uh, of course, if the storm were to main, remain really weak, uh, that would be fine too. But um, that's kind of where we're at. And uh, I, I wish I could be more uh, precise, uh, but that's kind of the latest information on both of these storms. Uh, we, there will be another advisory coming out at 10 p.m., and then we will continue these webinars uh, through the weekend as long as there is a threat to our area. Uh, and so the next one will be at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So at this point, I will 